Now in this lecture, let's try to revise what we have discussed in this entire section. So we started this section by discussing how we can bring OR2 framework implementation in inside web applications like EasyBank. And there we discussed two kinds of applications can invoke our resource server. One is through API to API invocation like Postman and other one is a UI web application trying to invoke our easy bank resource server. Post that we discussed in detail about what is open ID connect, how it is different from OR2 framework, followed by what is key clock, how it is going to help us in implementing OR2 framework inside any web application. So we also set up the key clock server. We created realms, clients, users, roles. So we played with it and now have a good understanding on what is key clock and what advantages features that it can provide. Later on, we also discuss how to build a Spring Boot based resource server and how to establish a link between this resource server and key clock authorization server by making configuration changes inside application.properties. And once we developed resource server, we also saw the demo of the OR2 grant type by integrating with the resource server, by exploring client credentials grant type with the postman testing and authorization code grant type and authorization code grant type with Pixie in the scenarios where a web application is trying to invoke a resource server APIs. And at last, we also looked on a high level what kind of important changes that we have done inside Angular app in order to incorporate authorization code grant type with Pixie. So we also understood that key clock Angular library helps a lot and it provides a lot of features which will make the life of developer very easy. And when we use that, we don't have to worry like how to generate a code verifier, code challenger, and no need to pass the access token every time to the resource server manually by writing an interceptor. So everything taken by this key clock angular library. And with all these discussions, I'm assuming you gained a good amount of knowledge. Now you are a different developer compared to when we started this section. So please go ahead and leverage all this knowledge that you gained inside your projects, interviews, or any other discussions because now you know what is key clock, how to use it and implement OR2 framework inside any kind of web application. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.